quality dentistry for the whole family, even if they're from Nantucket. We also take emergency booking. Roger Tall is the stupidest dentistry investigator of anything. We're testing out the noise reducing double glazed doors from Superglass. That's super with an A. Uh, it does seem that if you want to be an artist in Australia, uh, there's a bit of suffering along the way. Um, I will say I am offended by the crucifix. Um, I'm a Baptist has a painting called Trigamestus, which you should look up. To me, it's about... Um, how convoluted people's judgments get, Christians' judgments get after thinking there's any truth whatsoever to the Gospels of Matthew, Luke, and John. Um, yeah, so. Uh, the judgments of, uh, the judgmental errors of believers are, um, pitifully predictable to me. I can almost do their thinking for them. Um, if they enjoy the crucifix of Jesus, uh, which offends me, uh, and then watch Doppelhers, <laughs> uh, I hope they make themselves sick. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's hypocrisy, of course, to go, oh, yeah, um, violence is bad, but, uh, you know, driving Jesus suicidal by the intimidation of the ancient monarchy and, you know, making him march his own cross up a hill and nailing him to it. Now, that actually saves our lives forever. And then they wonder why priests are fucking with kids and touching kids' balls and asses and, you know. Uh, I, I always was a bit off-put at Taogrenong Uniting Church when the, the middle-aged mums are singing, oh, he is risen. <laughs> they go, well, something might have been risen for them to put a, a loincloth on him in the first place. <laughs> Sick fucking mongers. Anyway. <laughs> it's what um Rogers left left me with the impression that um you know at work he'd go on about Australia being a monarchy and I'd always think, well why don't why isn't there uh published legislation on, on monarch policy and uh, you know he didn't really have anything to say about that except to go into these um, you know uh, childish and irrelevant conversations about uh, his belief systems I'm like great so uh, um, innocent civilians suffering because of your Pathetic beliefs. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I guess honours from the Queen is something that means a lot to him. Um, so they could get together and talk about, you know, the Gospel of Mark and, um... You know, why they put the loincloth on, um... On Jesus after crucifying him, you know. It's apparent, uh, something they, they may enjoy. That's why they've both got what I would consider um, unattractive hips, you know, uh, the Queen and, and Roger. Roger's got that pedophile grimace, and um, the Queen's got the hips of, like, a woman who would say, yeah, let's... Uh, suicide, sex crime, murder, bisexuals, and then write, uh, rewrite the story in subsequent decades to say that he was uh, sent to sacrifice himself by a god that doesn't exist, and then let's have ceremonies where we pretend to eat his body and drink his blood. And they do that, and then they wonder why they look like, um, 
you know, pedophiles and um, Queen Elizabeth hangs up, you know, Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris does what, did whatever he did with a bunch of kids. And, you know, there's the Queen, um, uh, you know, hanging up his paintings in uh, Buckingham Palace. So, how, how awesome is she? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No, of course, I, um, <sighs> I guess I'm, I'm definitely more against, uh, Christian pedophilia than, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. So, skipping back to early 2010, Roger Tall and his dispatch will now have, let me just check the date, uh, it's the 10th of December, 2018, so the items of mine that he stole from uh, my front lawn and downer early 2010 and the bag including um, a Bible that dumb and atheist I still um, appreciated the the kind messages that other friends I had at the time wrote on the interior cover of that Bible so uh, I do burn and rip up Bibles and I falsify Christianity um, almost instinctively but uh, he's to return that item. I'm just trying to decide how severely to um, educate the public on what uh, he does as a mad scientist. He's a, he's a scientist and a believer, uh, either in um, a theistic god or... Queen Elizabeth's vaginosis, or something like that. Um, but, you know, my photos of my friends, my cosmetics bag, my birth certificate, all those things he took from Downer in 2010. If he returns all of those, then I might be lenient. Um, you know, in, uh, in his biphobia, Roger's very, I think, obsessed with killing Jesus over and over again. Um, so maybe his business only really deserves to last like 33 years or something. And since it started in the 70s, uh, <clears throat> I think it's overdue. It's overdue for being... Um, a exposed to the federal government uh, as scientific fraud uh, with what Roger does to uh, get people on the Mental Health Act and he taught me all about this. The reason he's tried to make a target out of me is because um, I actually liked the pharmacist code of ethics um, but then you know you, you move your way up the ranks and they go oh you should get into this, it's all, you know, corrupt shit, and you can do as much ecstasy as you like, and you can have all the amphetamine you like, and, uh, while I was thankful for their drugs, I just didn't want to get into, you know, irradiating uh, brain cells and, and neurons and stuff, so, that's where Roger might wind up in jail, Either way, I think uh, it's time for a holiday to the U.S., for sure. Roger's, um, he's just, just look at his face, fucking spastic. Chicken hawk, fucking spaz. I'm gonna fuck with Luke and Manson, I'm gonna fuck with Luke and Manson. <laughs>
Uh, I'm here with Jose and Fernando. We're about to um, blow up a mono. We're about to blow up a um, um, a monarch science lab. Uh, back at uh, Capital Campus when Roger Tor was telling me that uh, genetics had predisposed me to homosexuality, which I could never understand because, I mean, I would defend um, a gay people's decisions to be gay, but uh, I, I don't recognize, um, you know, a, someone trying to dictate your sexual orientation to you but um so he started telling me about how you know he enjoys asking um his wife Maxine for uh anal intercourse and he's like um don't you get it I've I've, I've I'm rich I have um I got millions of dollars of of investments from um Doppler radar, concealed Doppler radar torches, and the stupid federal government don't understand that the that uh all those people I'm torturing are, are hearing voices from my radio. They all think it's from <laughs> all these other stimuli. So um, so Maxine, bend over and and give me your ass. Um. And so she'd sort of scream off and open this book bookstore in Kingston. Um, anyway, can't say Capital Chemist was um, the job for me. <laughs> I uh, I generally have no no idea why he wants me to be some sort of uh, health educator. Well. I have physically disabling pain, but um, it's weird. It's a weird job, uh, if you want to call it a job. I'm not even getting paid for it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Get him, Mike. Um, <laughs> why, are, why are you talking? Who talking, your friend? Uh, we're looking forward to getting my superannuation out of that capital chemist guild whatever the company's um <laughs> spit again no no, no. spit no go no, no, no. Spit. whoa spit. shit not kill for Fabiana company's uh too rapey <laughs> uh this is the uh the desk chair that Roger Tall gave me back uh, while I was a little capital chemist bitch um, by designation um, and a massage chair that was a hundred dollars that uh, he gave me as payment for DJing for him at a capital chemist conference uh, So who knows what, what he's trying to do with his profile now. Say so artists are, are bad or dangerous people. Uh, why didn't I do anything bad or dangerous when uh, I DJed for his pathetic company? I'll just... Uh... For sale. <laughs> uh, when I worked for Roger Tall, he was um, 
Well, he would pretty much say anything to um, distract the public from the reality that he's into, you might say, crucifying citizens with uh, up and down quarks, if you research um, quantum physics and look into uh, what up and down quarks are. Good luck, religious weirdos. Thank <laughs> you.